Alrighty guys, uh, Captain Maraca here, and this is my last review for today. Um, I'm going to be reviewing... Okay, that looks a lot. I'm going to be reviewing the Komodo um, Internet Security Premium. Um, the installer is 33.5 megabytes, and this is the... Um, the antivirus I use on my own computer it has a firewall, uh, sandbox, and it also has a antivirus. So, and it's all free. So, and you can install their Geek Buddy thing. It's a 60-day free trial for um, remote support for your PC issues. If you ever want that, I guess you can buy it. Um, I don't ever need it because I work with uh, I work with uh, antivirus softwares and antiviruses and viruses almost every day, so I know. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna let this install, and I'll be back in a few minutes. So, talk to you guys in. Okay, here we go. The uh, virtual machine is just powering back up after my restart and there's a few um, settings you have to change in here and I'll show you this in one second after this finishes loading up I'm um, just gonna update this and it's 80 megabytes, so I'm just gonna pause this, and I'll be back in like two seconds. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, I'm back, and um, it just completed with the virus signature database is now updated. So I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna show you the settings that need to be changed. So okay, first you wanna go to your system icon or your system tray, and find the Komodo Internet Security um, little icon. Then right click on it and click um, make sure the other uh, should all be, uh, be default except for the one I'm going to tell you to change to. Antivirus uh, security level stateful, firewall safe mode, defense uh, defense plus security level on um, safe mode, and the sandbox security level is enabled. And then you have to go here to configuration and click proactive security. Okay. And then you go to um, bring up the interface, go to Defense Plus, and then Defense Plus Settings. And on the top, Sandbox Settings. And then right here, automatically detect installers, updaters, and run them outside the sandbox. Make sure that is unchecked. And click OK. And yeah, that's basically it. So let's get started with the test. Go to the malware domain list. And already caught by the antivirus. So clean. If we try to run it, it won't do anything. Clean already. Uh, antivirus again. If we run it, it won't do anything. Let's go for a fake antivirus if this won't work. and it automatically isolated it in the sandbox. If we try to run it, Trojanware, um, antivirus, clean, and then it'll ask you, um, it's about to access the internet, so, um, block. And 
and yeah, so that one's blocked. This one is in the sandbox also. A sandbox is basically a different part of your PC which cannot actually shoot um, your actual PC, so. I don't think that's anything. Well, if you want to run something in your uh, sandbox, I think you can't remember how you do it, but I knew it was simple, so. Wait a second, let me find it. Yeah, right here. You just right click on the program and then run in Komodo Sandbox. Okay, so next one. Let's go with um, a lot of Zeus Trojans. Let's try this one. Um, unclassified malware, antivirus, clean. That's why I like this antivirus, because if you're on your, um, if you're on your, um, or rather that if you, like, the antivirus misses it, then either the firewall will tell you to shun the access to the internet, or your, um, Defense Plus will kick in and it'll tell you that it's going to run in the sandbox and everything. So, clean this, and that one's caught. Fake antivirus. I think this one's actually dead. Can't remember, but let's test it anyways. Let's see here. Shot this one. I think this one. If we try to run this one, it's in the sandbox. If we try to run it, it can't run. Now, if you don't want it in the Oh no. Well, that one failed. Well, here we go. We can block it from the internet. Well, that's strange because I never had this one get past before. Let me just end it in the task manager quickly. Uh, that was it. There we go. Okay, that's just a fake antivirus, and I don't know how that one got passed, but it was in the sandbox, and I don't know why or how it got ran. So, if that's the only one it missed, I mean, everything's gonna miss at least one thing. That's the only thing I actually had it go through. I don't even know what this says, so. These are all dead. That one's dead, I remember that one. These are all dead. Well, 
Well, this one uh, secure DNS. So then uh, you would basically, if you uh, were just a regular average user, you would click go back to safety. And right here, there's another. Uh, right here it says system is safe application. However, you're about to receive a connection from another computer, so. I'm actually going to block it. And I'm going to go back to safety. I'll find a few more, and then we'll run scans with the other um, antiviruses. see this one there. Well see the programs don't actually run if they're isolated in the sandbox but if we go up here into the sandbox it would be uh, safe mode. See if we go right here it will be these are the ones we just blocked so then if we select them all and Click move to block files, it'll block them all. And it detected these five threats. And I'll get a few more, and that'll be it. Um, Here we go. We'll go back to safety. I'll get two more. That one actually might not have been a virus. If Yeah, it's not in there, so I'll get one more and crap, I think I'm on this page. Fake scanner page, let's see if this one will work. And this one was caught by the antivirus, so clean. Uh, yeah, basically right now, 9 out of 10, because I only missed that one big antivirus, but you're not going to, whenever you see a title with antivirus, you're not going to download it, because you already have an antivirus. It's Komodo, or whatever your antivirus is, so you're not going to download something that you already have. Uh, just be sure to look at the names of what you're downloading. Uh, like this one is CIS Premium Komodo Internet Security Premium Installer. Now, a fake antivirus would be like um, Antivirus 2010 or whatever, so it uh, doesn't matter. But okay, I'm going to do a full scan right now. Wait. Okay, and I'll be back whenever this is finished. Oh, wait, I want to quickly uh, run a in here, C cleaner, and run up the clean up the files. Gonna run the cleaner. Okay. And I'm gonna start the scan and I'll be back whenever it's finished, so I'll see you guys then.
Okay, finally after uh, 16 minutes and 11 seconds, the scan completed. But I went ahead and uh, started the other three scans. But I had to pause this one so this one would go faster. And uh, it actually found nothing. So, um, but let's see in Norton Power Eraser, you can see um, uh, right here. This is that uh, fake antivirus. And it's, uh, yeah, it's in there. So, and these two files, which are temporary internet files, I don't know how they're still there, but because I went in there and deleted the temporary internet files and the internet files. And I don't even feel like I need to run this because you've just seen what those two said. So, uh, but yeah, about an 8 or 9 out of 10. Actually, a 9 out of 10 because it only missed that one thing and then the other two those were temp files so I don't see how those didn't get deleted I don't know maybe just a problem or something but uh, yeah 9 out of 10 for Komodo uh, I actually might look into Norton to get that primary just to see how good it will be because whenever I looked at it today and reviewed it it seemed to be excellent and um, yeah, that's best, uh, basically it. So uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.